Hello my friends, what's up? I am coming to you makeup less because I am gonna show you guys how I did my lash lift. BT dubs, before we get started, I am not a professional lash lifter person at all. Uh, I had just happened to be breezing the interwebs and somebody on the book was like, oh my God, I got my lashes lifted and tinted, it's so amazing. So I was like, oh my God, I want that done. And when I went to look into it and see how much it was, it was 80 dollars. Obviously the price is gonna vary per area, but to get this done professionally is not fucking cheap at all. So I was like, I bet I could do that myself. So I went up on the Amazons and look for a lash lift kit. And what do you know, I fucking found one. And it is this one right here. These people do not know who I am. I am not affiliated with this at all. I just went up on the Amazon and bought it, okay? Uh, this was like $15 and it was so easy to do. And my lashes looked amazing. Um, I, if you guys remember before I went on vacation, I tinted my lashes, tinted my brows, and then did a lash lift with this. Uh, unfortunately today, um, I will not be showing you how I tint my eyelashes because I do not use uh, eye safe tinting blue bitty blah. I just put some shit on my eyes, which I'm not gonna tell you what I use because I'm an asshole and did not use something that was eye safe like a normal intelligent person would. So to avoid me showing you how to do that and somebody coming back and saying, hey, you told me to do this and I went fucking blind. I'm not gonna do that, so there's that. But for those of you who may or may not know, I just use the same stuff on my lashes that I use on my brows. I do have a video on how I tint my brows. I have not tinted my brows since vacation. I do notice that brow tinting does not last as long as what the lashes do. I don't know why, but um, probably because, you know, you exfoliate your face and stuff like that, I'm assuming. My lashes, I just got done tinting. Uh, like I said, we ain't doing that, girl. I'm not having some of my trial so many and stuff. Uh, my lashes, I just got done tinting. Um, my eyebrows, I haven't tinted since before I went on vacation. And the brows don't seem to last as long. I think it's because you exfoliate and stuff like that. And you're, like, not exfoliating your eyes. You're a little bit more gentle around the eyes. So I see, or I feel like the lash tinting lasts a little bit longer than the brow tinting. I do have a video on how I tint my brows. I don't do anything different than I did in that video, which I think I did maybe, like, a year, maybe two years ago, something like that. If I remember, I will, like, put a card, probably not, if I remember, I will link it below. Probably not. I'm gonna really, really try to be a real YouTuber and remember this time, okay? So if I don't remember though, somebody tell me in the comments and I'll like look it up and then, you know, come back and put it in. So this is the kit that I got. I bought it on Amazon for like 15 freaking dollars. Um, there is a learning curve to this, which I will explain to you guys. I have some tips and tricks for you guys um, along the way if you're doing this for your first time. Uh, just some basic things that I learned from doing it for my first time. Like I said, I have already done it. My lashes are still a little bit curled. They're not as curled as they were when I first did it. Uh, but because they are a little bit curled, the results obviously are not going to be as extreme as what you saw in the thumbnail because that was the very first time that I tinted and the very first time that I lifted them. So the results obviously are not gonna be as extreme as that thumbnail, just because I naturally have blonde eyelashes. So, you know, as y'all probably already saw, and the reason you clicked on this video was because of that thumbnail. Just know that those were my very first results. Again, the results this time aren't gonna be as extreme because my lashes are um, a little bit curled. And I think they probably have a bend in them too because I just tinted them. Uh, because the way that I tint them is essentially the same way that I lift them, um, but instead of putting perm solution on, I just put the dye. So that was the only difference for me. So let's get into this. This is what the kit looks like right here. Right here is your perm solution, your setting solution, your conditioning solution, and then this is like, um, I'm assuming like a Meissler water because it says like cleansing water or something like that. And then this is your glue. The kit comes with two uh, resources in order to curl your lashes. The first being this little 
silicone jobby right here that you kind of stick to your eye and then roll your lashes onto. And then it comes with these little rollers. The silicone little jobbies there are more if you want your lashes to stick straight up. And then the rollers are more if you want like an actual curl in your lashes. However, I did not use the rollers. I used the silicone. And the reason I did not use the rollers was because of this. Um, <laughs> do you see how stinky that is? I'm not trying to stick my lashes up on there and like rip my fucking lashes out because these rollers are stinky and sheet. And these little silicone things, you just use the glue in order to stick it on. The glue is almost like a really like lightweight lash glue because it's the type of glue that you put it on and it kind of gets tacky after a while and then you put your lashes up to it. It came also with this little thing right here, which kind of reminds me of something that would come in like a skincare thing to scoop it out. I really don't know the purpose of putting this in here other than like using it to, you know, put your lashes up with. So obviously you're gonna need the kit. Um, a couple other things that you might want along the way, a couple of other things that you're gonna need that I personally use is tweezers. The reason why I use tweezers is because I find it easier not only to place the little silicone thing on your eye, but to separate your lashes. By the way, I mean, you really don't need anything outside of this here kit. This is just, like I said, what I found helps along the way. Another thing you're gonna need is just some Q-tips or something to put the perm solution on. This does not come in the kit, but the kit does state that you do need Q-tips in order to put the perm solution on, but like who doesn't have Q-tips, you know? And the last thing that you're gonna need is just a spoolie. Um, you really don't need this, but I like to have it to kind of comb through my lashes and get them you know, really separated before I get started. Uh, once we get started, I will tell you guys why. So let's get into it. Let's do this shit, shall we? We shall. I am gonna zoom in, okay? Okay, now that we're nice and zoomed in and you can see all the pores and wrinkles and all the things, uh, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is glue your silicone little jibber jobber down. The silicone, it comes with three different sizes, a small, medium, and a large. I use the small because I have smaller eyes. I can't imagine anybody using like a medium or a large one of these because they're fucking massive. So you can also, which is what I did, is cut these down to kind of fit your eyes. So this one, um, I cut probably like you know, maybe like a little half a centimeter off, like the size of my uh, pinky nail. That's about what I cut off of this one in order to get it to fit my eye because I found that it just sits on your eye so much better, like if you cut it down. The first time I did this, I did not cut it down and I noticed that my little outer lashes were kind of pointing that way instead of pointing up. My goal for curling my lashes is to have my lashes sticking straight up. I don't have a lot of lashes. My lashes are not very voluminous at all. So I like them to stick straight up in the air rather than curl, just because I feel like it's a lot more flattering, it opens my eyes a lot more. So like I said in the beginning, I like to put this on my tweezers. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is to put your glue down on your little silicone thing in order to glue it to your eye. I don't believe that it stated this in the directions to put the glue down. Also, before we get into this, I just wanted to mention, because I forgot to mention, this is insanely time consuming. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is take your glue and spread it onto the back of your little silicone pad. And you really don't need glue on this little uh, flowery part here. Let me see if you guys can see that. Hopefully you can see that. You really don't need glue on this little uh, flowery part. You just need glue on the, um, like the denser part of the silicone pad. That's what I'm gonna start calling it, silicone pad, because I don't know what the professional name is for it, because I'm not a professional. So when you're putting your glue down, um, I found putting it in a super thin layer to the point where you can't even really see the glue on there. Like I said, this glue is basically like a lash glue. So it comes out white and it dries clear. So you're gonna wanna put just a really, really fine layer of glue on there. And then what I do is kind of blow it off to get it dry just like you would with a lash glue. And just like with lashes, you're gonna to wanna to put this on when it's tacky. You're not gonna to wanna to brush it on and then slap it right on. You wanna wait until it's a little bit tacky so that way it sticks 
right where you're putting it down at. When you place the little silicone mat down, you wanna make sure the edge of that is as close to your lashes as possible. That's what's gonna give you the best curl, is having it as close to your lash line as you can possibly get it. And you can pull it off and move it because that glue uh, stays tacky on there for a while. And you want it sticking down to every part of your eye. And then I'll just go in with my fingers and kind of push that down. Make sure that it's in place. And then what I like to do is kind of lift my lashes up a little bit. Like this, it's going to look fucking crazy. Just forewarning, <laughs> it looks crazy. Um, I'm going to lift my lashes up like this just to make sure that that you know, that the end of that little silicone mat is really, really close to my lash line. So that way I can get the best lift possible. And it does like tend to lift up here on the inner corner, which is annoying as dick. You're also gonna wanna make sure that none of your lashes are underneath that. So maybe um, pulling your lashes down like this first before placing it uh, would probably be a good idea too. I don't do that because I, to be honest, just thought of that. <laughs> the first time I did this, I just did one eye at a time because I was like, how the fuck am I going to see? But it actually doesn't really obstruct your vision that much. So I'm going to go ahead and put my other silicone pad on and I will be our Hey, 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 scary. I look like some kind of weird ass Muppet. So the next step of doing this after you've got your look, I can't take myself seriously looking like <laughs> The next step is to glue your lashes down. This step is the most detrimental step in this whole entire process. Not only because the way you glue your lashes down is what your lashes are gonna look like, but there's kind of a sweet spot between using too much glue and too little glue because your lashes, like as you're putting the perm solution on, taking it off, putting the set solution on, taking it off, your lashes have a tendency to kind of poke off. And if your lash comes off and is sitting out here, that's how your lash is gonna perm. Once you put that perming solution on your lashes, I still can't take myself seriously looking like this. <laughs> Once you put that perm solution on your lashes, um, that is how your lashes are gonna set. That's what they're gonna look like when you take this off. That's how they're gonna be for like the next month and a half. It has been probably, um, I would say, probably about four or five weeks since I've had my curled and I still have a little bit of curl in them. So my lashes are stick straight naturally and they're still just a little bit curled after you know that extended amount of time. So this does last for a pretty damn long time. So what you're gonna wanna do is pull out your glue and you're just gonna wanna brush it towards the bottom of the silicone pad. Now it says in the directions to only glue like basically the tips of your lashes. Um, for me, I find that it's better to put it over the whole thing because I found that when I was just glue, putting glue to where the tips of my lashes would stick to it, my lashes were not sticking down and I kept having to go back in and put glue on, go back in and put glue on. So again, this is just like lash glue. So you're gonna put that on there and give it a second to get tacky before you go ahead and put your lashes on it. This lash glue is not gonna damage your lashes at all. I found that I had no problems with my lashes ripping out or anything like that. It seems like, oh my God, I'm putting fucking glue on my lashes. My lashes are gonna rip all out, but they don't. So you don't need to worry about that. So I'm just gonna put like a super thin layer on. I feel like I've already even put too much on. So I'm gonna take my brush and kind of try to wipe a little bit away you're probably gonna make a hell of fucking mess at first but it'd be alright, girl because it washes off I guess that's probably where this kind of comes in handy this little skincare scooper looking thing because you can really use it to like push your lashes up so then I'm gonna go ahead and push my lashes up against the glue I use this at first but then I end up going in with my fingers so the way I do it is I kind of roll my finger off of it because your fingers will stick to it I mean it's glue after all and you want to make sure each one of your lashes is stuck down so if you kind of wave your finger in front of it even if you can't see like if you're somebody that has blonde lashes because you know I started off with blonde lashes um, what I did was took my finger and kind of ran it ran it <laughs> grammar 
kind of ran it right out in front of it just to make sure that there wasn't any lashes poking out that I couldn't see. So then once your lashes are stuck down, this is the most pivotal part of this. You want to place your lashes the way you want them to look. So if you'll notice how all my lashes are stuck down where like right here, I'm sorry I can't get any closer. This lens is like, maybe it'll let me zoom in. So if you can see on my lashes here, how some of them are kind of clumped together, that is how your lashes are gonna stay once they're permed. So you don't want that. So what I do is I kind of go through with some tweezers and try to separate them out as much as I can. They start to come up a little bit. Don't be afraid to add more glue. That's not a big deal. So this especially is what got me the last time. If you can see right here how this lash, I don't know if you guys, I think you guys can see it. This lash right here is kind of pointing that way. That is what you do not want. The last time I did this, and on this eye right here, my lash was like pointing that way. And that's how it fucking stayed for the, I mean, it's still like that. It's still kind of pointing in towards my eye. For the first like week or two, it was totally poking me in the eye and driving me crazy. When it came to putting false lashes on, I couldn't get false lashes on right because that eyelash was just like so off centered. So I'm just gonna take my tweezers and kind of brush through and then I'm gonna grab my spoolie too. You're obviously gonna remove kind of a little bit of excess glue doing this. So like I said, you can go back down and put the glue on. You want as little glue as possible because you don't want there to be a barrier between the glue and the perming solution, but you also want your lashes you know, setting down the way you want them to look. And it might take 15 or 20 minutes to accomplish that. It did for me. If you want it to look good and you want it to look right, you really need to take the time to do it right. You know what I'm saying? This isn't something that, you know, you just slap the thing on and, you know, glue your lashes down and you're done. Because like I said earlier, your lashes will look like how they're glued down. So right here, this is how my lashes will look. So if I don't separate this clump right here, that clump of lashes will stay like that for the duration that they're curled. So this I feel like is a really good example of what your lashes should look like when they're glued down before you put the perm solution on. I got good separation going on. Everything's standing straight up. There's nothing, you know, pointing in weird directions. Obviously, the thicker your lashes are, the harder it's going to be uh, as far as the separation goes, but you know, take the time out to really get them as separated as possible, but don't get fucking crazy with it. Cause if you've got mad thick lashes, obviously, you know, there's going to be some overlapping there. So, you know, take your time and do it well, but don't get crazy with it, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to go ahead and glue my other eye down and then I will BRB. Um, by the way, in case you're curious, this, to get this result right here, probably took me about 10 minutes. I've been sitting here for like 10 minutes, kind of separating them out. And again, I just want to reiterate, please make sure your lashes are not like going this way. Even if you've got one little hair pointing in the wrong direction, it's going to perm that way. So make sure everything is sticking straight up and is lined up and is not clumpy and they've got good separation going on. Just want to throw that out there because I made the mistake first off of, you know, doing this and I had a bunch of lashes that were clumped together and that's how they ended up once I took the perming solution off. So every day I had to go through and like comb my lashes out just to get them to like not look clumpy. You know what I mean? So let me go do the other eye, BRB. Okay, now that I look even more crazy and I got my lashes where I want them, it's time to put the perm solution on. Um, I forgot to mention first too, it comes with this uh cleanser water which you need to like cleanse your lashes first before you do that i forgot to mention that because i had already done that so i just wanted to throw that out there so this is what the perm solution looks like here you're just gonna grab your q-tip and dip into that perm solution i would suggest using not cheap q-tips because i have cheap q-tips and they're fuzzy and they fall the fuck apart and it sucks. <laughs> so get you some good Q-tips, like the Q-tips that aren't like real fuzzy, you know, like the hard kind. I would assume that would be so much easier to use than these pieces of shit. So when you put the perm solution on, like I said earlier, you're going to want to focus that right at the base of your lashes because that's where you want the curl to be. And you want to get a nice thick layer and your lashes when you're doing this, um, 
they probably will pop off a little bit. Did I just spit? I'm pretty sure I did. Your lashes will start to like see right there how it's kind of coming off. What I do is either take my finger or the Q-tip and I just kind of push it back down on there. These Q-tips suck so bad. You know what? I'm actually going to take this little thing because I'm pretty sure that's what I did last time because my Q-tips suck so bad. <laughs> And I'm going to scoop some perm solution onto this and use this. Yeah, that's so much easier. And you want to get it as close to, see where my lash is lifting right there? Push that back down. You want to get it as close to the base of your lashes as possible because that's where you want the curl to be. All right, once you feel like you've got an adequate amount of perm solution on there, you wait. Um, the directions say anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. The thicker your lashes are, the longer you're probably going to want to leave it on. I only leave it on for 10 minutes because for one, I'm impatient, and for two, I really don't have dick for lashes, so 10 minutes is sufficient for me. I did it 10 minutes last time, and it worked out fine, so I will be back in 10 minutes. Be back in two and two. Who remembers that? Chuck Woolery, the love connection. I'm old, okay, BRB. And we're back, still looking like a fucked up Muppet. So, it's been 10 minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a dry Q-tip and just wipe as much of that perm solution, <laughs> wipe as much of that perm solution off as I can. Once you've done that, you're gonna wanna take your setting solution, the number two, and basically do the same thing that you did the first time so you're going to take your setting solution and just put it right at the base and you can kind of see here like where my lashes are starting to come up a little bit but they're still going to curl so don't worry about that just kind of take your finger and you know push them back up there it's going to get like super hella frustrating but what I found because the first time I did it, I was like, Jesus Christ, my lashes won't stay down. They're never gonna curl, but they did, so. So I'm just gonna stick this um, setting solution, basically do the same thing that I did with the perm solution, stick this across the base of my lashes, and then you have to wait another 10 minutes, or I would wait probably 15 minutes, maybe even 20 if your lashes are like super hella thick, just to make sure that they really set in place. And then we will come back and do the conditioning solution. See, it's super easy. You don't need a professional girl. You can do it on your own. Thanks to Amazon. Hashtag no spots. But I wish I was. Hello. It has been 10 minutes. Probably, eh, maybe a lot longer because I've been on the phone with Tim for about 15 minutes. So there's that. It's been about 15 minutes. So I'm just going to take a dry Q-tip just like I did with the perm solution and just to wipe it off, wipe it off, wipe it off, wipe it off. I did put a little bit thicker of a layer of this setting solution on, um, just because I feel like it's setting solution, so it's setting it, right? Makes sense, right? I have no clue, but it made sense in my head, so that's what I decided to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and get as much of that off as I can and take another Q-tip, and then this time go into the number three moisture lotion or conditioning solution, I think is what they called it in the um, little uh, directions or whatever. I'm just gonna take a Q-tip and take this moisture lotion. And at this point, I feel like, um, you know, if your lashes lift up from this, it's kind of okay because you've already got the perm solution on there. You've already got the, um, what's it called the uh what was they called setting solution <laughs> you've already got the setting solution on there so it's kind of okay if they start to lift up you know because they're probably gonna because this is like a moisture oil type solution and i think this is just so your lashes don't get too dried out um from the perm solution on there i can't see what in the viewfinder to see if you guys can see what i'm doing so I'm just going to place this on there and then it says to leave this on for 10 minutes. So that's what I'm going to do. I went downstairs um, when I had my <laughs> perm solution on and Aiden like said something to me and turned around and he goes, uh, either some, you're doing something different with your makeup or something's wrong because you look sad. <laughs> I was like, no, I'm perming my lashes, dude. <laughs> Boy, 
boys just don't understand. Okay, so I'm gonna slap this on and I will BRB in 10 minutes. Okay, friends, it's been about 10 minutes. I went ahead and zoomed out so you could see a little bit better like how I remove it. Um, Aiden, again, was like, do you still have that stuff on your eyes? And I said, yeah, and he goes, let me see. And I turned around and he goes, you look like somebody that's extremely emo. You look like you glued your eyes down to be extremely emo. So anyways, basically the way that I personally take this off, this wasn't in the directions or anything, this is just how I do it, is I take extra virgin coconut oil and I slather it on me eyeballs. And I really make sure I saturate my eye um, really, really well with coconut oil, especially before I take that little silicone pad off because you know, you glued your fucking eyelashes down to this. You're not trying to like rip your lashes out while taking it off. You know what I mean? So I'm going to go ahead and slather my eyes in coconut oil. And I just take like an old rag, like an old uh, wash rag and just kind of wipe it off. And then I'll pull the silicone pad off and kind of brush my lashes out. So I'm going to do that real quick because obviously my eyes can't be open while I do. Okay, I feel like I've got the majority of the glue if not all you want to make sure you get all that glue out there and what I like to do is kind of take the wash rag I take and rub my eyelashes with coconut oil and then I'll take the the wash rag and just real gently kind of pull down to make sure you get all the glue out it's just kind of like removing um, what's it called lash glue you know from your lashes that's kind of what I do to remove lash glue from my lashes too and then these are the results right here girl look it looks like I have mascara on already I don't even have mascara on isn't it pretty even though I don't have any makeup on I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys like what it looks like with mascara on just so you get an idea of like how bomb it actually is the mascara i'm using is the l'oreal telescopic and carbon black this is my favorite mascara oh i still got some glue in there i can fill it with a little mascara wand and my lashes um right now i'm running really really low on my lash serum so i've kind of been trying to like oh i can feel that glue in there i've kind of been trying to ration my lash serum out so when I use my lash serum, which I will also link down below, not affiliated, hashtag not spons, uh, it really, I mean, my lashes look like basically like I have false lashes. Like they look fucking insane, girl. So I'm gonna get me some more uh, lash serum and um, do it again next month when the curl starts to come out of these ones. My mascara is not going on very well because I got that coconut oil on my eyelashes. I totally did not think about that. <laughs> Okie dokie. This is the results with my mascara on. I personally like the results that I did this time way better than last time. Even though my lashes were a little bit longer last time because, like I said, I'm like kind of running low on my lash serum. Um, I like the results better this time because I took the time to really like spread my lashes out and make sure that they were really separated so they didn't like clump together. If you'll notice from uh, the thumbnail of this video, my lashes, like that was the first time I did it and I do have a couple of like spots where my lashes kind of clump together. That picture was taken right when I got done with it, like right when I took them off and I didn't like brush through them or anything, but it still offers good results. So, um, pros and cons. The pros of this obviously is, you know, your lashes are sky high. You don't have to curl them. It opens your eyes up so freaking much, but there are some cons to this. First con is if you fuck up in any way shape or form like you pretty much screw girl so if you while you're gluing your lashes down if you got a lash going this way or you got a lash going this way like i said earlier when i had the very first time i did it my inner corner lashes were kind of you know going that way and they were poking me in the eye for like the first week you are screwed so i know that you can kind of like reperm them and do them over again and try to correct that and you know make them go a different direction but in theory it's probably not the best idea to try to do that only because like it's fucking perm solution <laughs> you know what i mean so the more you do it the more you're going to dry your lashes out and honestly like the drier your lashes are going to be the quicker they're going to fall out 
Lash hair is just like head hair where it continuously grows and falls out and grows. Your lashes shed just like the hair on your head sheds, just like the hair in your eyebrows shed. Like your lashes shed. So the drier they are, the quicker they're going to fall out. So um, if you do screw up to the point of no return where it's just bothering you that much that you have to fix it, I would say go ahead and do it. It's not like they're going to fall out or anything. I don't think. I don't know because I've never done it. But I would assume probably not. Um, but it probably is, you know, going to make your lashes a little bit drier. It's probably going to make them fall out quicker. So that's a big con that if you don't take the time out to, you know, get your lashes looking the way you want them to when you glue them down, um, they're going to be screwed. Like if you just slap it on there and they're all clumped together, like that's what your lashes are going to look like. If you like that look, fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? But if not, then definitely, you know, set out a time of day when you do have the time to do it. Because like I said, it takes four fucking ever. Con number two, it takes four fucking ever. It takes a really long time to do. The first time I did it, it took me like probably, I would say like two or three hours because I had only done one eye at a time. So to do one eye at a time, you got, you know, 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes between each little like perm solution, set solution, conditioning solution. So right there is 45 minutes and that doesn't count gluing it on, getting your lashes in place. You know what I'm saying? So it took me quite a while the first time. This time, not as long because like I said, I've done it before. So I was a little bit more used to it. And the third con, which to me is like the most annoying con is the fact that it is so fucking hard to put lashes on when you have a lash lift because there's that bend in your lashes like i don't know what it is man but like your lashes don't sit on there right the one day i had put lashes on it literally took me like 10 fucking minutes to put lashes on i wear lashes all the time i'm a fucking old pro at it girl it usually takes me like less than two minutes to put eyelashes on to put false lashes on and that day it was like one of the first times i had put false lashes on um since i had had my lash lifts we were on vacation and I didn't really like it was hot as dick out and I didn't really feel like putting mascara on that day So I was like Merp, I'll just slap a lash on because I do that sometimes if I don't want to wear mascara and Dude, it took so long <laughs> So fucking long to get that fucking false lash on I was like what is life? What is going on? And I noticed after that time that it does take a while to like get used to putting lashes over a lash lift They just don't sit on there like they do your natural lashes. I don't know why or I wouldn't, I, I don't, I don't want to say natural lashes, but like unlifted lashes. They don't sit on your unlifted lashes um, like they do on your lifted lashes. It's so fucking weird. I don't know why it's like that because, you know, I curl my lashes before I put lashes on. So I don't know. So I would definitely suggest this to somebody that if you're somebody, especially for the summer, I mean, even if you're somebody that does wear false lashes, but being that it's summertime, you know, you're not going to be wearing them a bunch. I would definitely suggest this for those of you who don't feel like wearing false lashes all summer or those of you who just don't wear false lashes and you're like not really fucking with false lashes that you you know prefer your own lashes over false lashes i would definitely suggest doing this for somebody like you i would also suggest it for somebody that doesn't have a lot of lashes if you're somebody like me who has super sparse thin lashes i know it might not look like it now but y'all i got some really stubby thin lashes like i have no lashes Right now, like I said, I'm, you know, real, real low on my lash serum and I'm kind of rationing it out. Um, but if I completely stop using my lash serum, like my lashes go down to nothing. I've been using a lash serum on my lashes for probably, Jesus, like two or three years now. So when my lashes are at their fullest potential, I want to do this again because my lashes get to you know, the point of when I curl them, they almost touch my eyebrows. So I cannot wait until I get some more lash serum. My lashes grow back in because I freaking love it. It like makes it so you don't have to wear false lashes. It's fucking awesome, especially again for the summer. Again, sorry about not like including the whole tinting thing in there, but as I told y'all earlier, I'm not trying to have somebody come back on me and be like, bitch, I can't see your blood because you have told me to put this stuff in my lashes. What the fuck? I don't want to fuck with that. I don't want to be that bitch. Okay, okay. So, um, that's it. That's what I do. That's how I curl my lashes or lift my lashes. I love it. I would definitely suggest it. Jesus, it's like 
$15. I have Amazon Prime, so I got free shipping, but this was like $15 on Amazon, and girl, I mean, can we talk about the amount that you have? Like, you could do this on yourself, on your friends, on your mama, on your cousin, on your brother. Like, you could do it on everybody and still have enough left to last you for like two fucking years. They give you so much. It's a professional grade kit, so you get a lot in there. I have done this on my mom, who um, literally has like three lashes. <laughs> she really has no lashes. And, you know, as it wasn't as striking on her as it was on me because I have a way more lash lashes than she does it still looked good on her so um I do plan on doing it on a friend of mine and the friend that I'm going to do it on has like crazy thick full lashes so I'm super excited to see her results I'll post on Instagram her results when we have a chance to get together and I do hers so that's it that's what's up I am done that is what I do that's how I live my lashes. So if you guys have any questions or anything like that, you can leave them in the comments below. And do not forget to, because I forgot to do it at the beginning, because I forgot that I do this now, subscribe to my channel. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I would like to have you here. We all would like to have you here. The bigger we are, the better we are. Right? That sounded weird, didn't it? The bigger, okay, just ignore that and subscribe i'm a little bit of a mess but you know hashtag relatable squad over here so do that if you liked it also make sure you are engaging because i don't know what the fuck they've been doing up there like in youtube land but for some reason the people that are subscribed to my videos do not see my videos in their feed i had one person tell me the other day that she hadn't got a notification for my video in months so make sure you hit post notifications uh i every time i hear somebody say post notification it always makes me think of post malone i don't know why i always want to say hit post malone don't hit post malone hit the post notification if you want to make sure make sure you're getting notifications so make sure you engage in the video like the video if you liked it Dislike the motherfucker if you disliked it, because that helps me too. So I know. Leave a comment. Leave some questions and stuff. I'm going to shut the fuck up, and I'm going to go. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you have not already. Or unlike, and don't subscribe if you haven't. If you don't want to subscribe, just check back and stuff and see this. I, I usually have makeup on, but, you know, whatevs. Uh, follow me on all my social media here. I don't use it that often, but... When I do, you'll be there, right? If you follow, okay? Not that enticing, is it? Okay, so I will catch you guys in my next one. Peace. Leave your questions below. It's oh shit, everything had fallen out. The first type is oh my god. We don't have to put that on my break for the top. Is that even focused? Why were you not focused? Am I too, oh, I'm too close. I forgot this one. Two, why do I have to do that? I mean, what is, what's wrong with me? Which, by the way, um, uh, another thing you, oh, I'm dropping it. And then you'll, the living, and then you do oh, I, wait, uh, uh, uh. I will get that in, uh, 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 uh. So what you wanna, what, why can't I say that fucking phrase? What you, 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 what you,